Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. Today we will be learning more about writing set notations. Okay, so uh, in this writing set notations, we will be provided with examples, or I mean given. For example, this one. Um, C union A difference B. Okay, so we will be provided with set operations and then you will need to identify the elements of the set depending on of course this given figure as well okay so um formalities aside let's start okay firstly for when you're trying to evaluate uh, or when you're trying to picture out ano ba yung mga elements ng ating um opet set operation is um we work just like uh we work with the pemdas or the arithmetic Kumaga, the first thing that we evaluate is, of course, the ones in the parentheses. Okay? So, firstly, let's write po, ano ba yung elements ni um, A minus B or A difference B? Okay? So, uh, let me just write yung notations natin. This one is set A, this one is set B, and this one is set C. Okay? So, let's have the difference between A and B. Sabi na dito, let me just write it down. The A minus B is just simply A did uh, reduce with the elements of P. This is A, and this is the elements of P. Okay? So, meaning, ang maaalis yan would be everything that is in B. So, meaning, what will be left would be 13 and 70. Okay? Next one, let's uh, find ano ba elements ni C. Kasi ang ina tinatanong sa atin is, what is C union this one? Okay? So, let's identify the elements of C. The elements of C are just simply what? It's everything within C, this circle. So the elements of C are just simply 1, 17, 18, 6, and 10. Okay? Then in the set operation, you're being asked, what is the union between these two? Okay? What is the union? So it's written here. Yeah, nandiyan. Ano the union nila? Now, of course, uh, when it, when you're trying to evaluate for the union, ang ginagawa lang natin is we just simply write the elements together, okay? Without repeating yung mga other elements. So, in this case, pagsasamahin ko to, pero yung 17 and 17, it repeats, we just write it as 1. So, your elements here would just simply be 1, 13, 17, 18, 6, and 10, 10. And this would be your final answer, okay? Wait for a while. Let me just delete the uh, other circle. Okay. Let me just delete the circle for... Okay. So, let me rewrite this one. So, it's 1, 17, 18, 6, and then 10. Then, we need to find the union. Okay. Then, of course, the elements again. I'll just write it down. It's 1, 13, 17, 18, 6, and then 10. Okay. So, let's have another example. Again, just a tip for you guys. Before we actually evaluate yung ating um, operation, evaluate, hanapin muna natin yung mga nasa parenthesis if there would be any. Okay? If there would be any. So, first one, ang gawin natin, um, we take the elements in the parenthesis. Okay? So, sige. Let's have our next example. Say we have B difference A union C. Okay? Ano the elements niya? So, again, the thing that we do here is, of course, we identify ano ba elements yung nandun sa may parenthesis. Okay? So, we have A union C. And A union C is just simply taking the elements of A with the elements of C. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nandun sa bilog na yan, kukunin natin. So, that would be 13, 4, sorry, 4, 18, 17, and we have 1, 6, and then we have 10, okay? The next thing that we need to do is we need to identify what are the elements of P. So we take, of course, all the elements of P, which is, of course, um, 12, 4, 18, 6, and then 10. And since now, ang gagawin natin between these two is we need to find the difference daw, okay? And how do we even find the difference? We find the difference by just simply taking the first item, and removing all the elements of the second item. The question, ano ba nauna? Si B 
o C, A union C. Obviously, ito yung nauna. So, ito yung babawasan natin ng elements ni A. Again, ito yung babawasan natin. Okay? So, we check the elements of A, and then we check the elements of B. Ano ba yung elements ni A na nasa B? And aalisin natin yung lahat. So, let's check po. Yung elements ng B. Ah. So, we have 4. We will remove 4 because it's already here. We also remove 18. We remove 6, and then we remove 10. Since the other elements are non-existing non on the other set, so we leave it aside. Pero again, ang kukunin lang natin, ito. Kung ano yung nauna, yun yung babawasan. Since ito yung binawasan, ito lang yung sagot. Just of course, simply to add. Okay? So let's have another example. Hope that is clear. This is a difference we already did discuss that. Okay? So let's have this one. A. Intersection B, intersection C. Okay? So, what we do here is we get the intersection of all. Since wala siyang parenthesis, ang gagawin lang natin, identify natin ano ba yung operation. Ang sabi sa operation, we get the intersection and then the intersection. Okay? So, let's identify ano ba yung intersection. Intersection means ano ba yung common sa kanil kanilang lahat. Okay? So, this one does not necessarily need anything else except for you to analyze. Sabi na dyan, we're looking for the commonality between them kasi we have three intersections. So, sabi na dyan, we will look at A, we will look at B, and then we will look at C. So, and you have to ask yourself, alin ba dito sa mga elements sa to ang meron sa lahat? So, let's ask A. Yung 13 ba nasa B? Obviously, wala. Kasi wala siya dun sa circle ng B. Okay? How about yung 4? Yung 4 nasa B, correct? Kasi nandun siya sa circle ng B. Nasa A din siya. Ang tanong, is it in the circle of C? No. Okay. And you will notice, basically, classes like this. Yung may kita nyo ng intersection is, of course, kung saan nag intersect yung tatlong circle. You will notice that ang intersection ng A is at A and C ay eto. Intersection ng B and C ay eto lang. Intersection ng A and B is this one. But the intersection of the three is this one. So, therefore... The answer, without any other solutions, by just simply observing the given, it's just 18. Okay, I hope you got that. It's a little bit basic naman. Of course, there will be other combinations of uh, operations, but that I will leave that to your um, learning. Para matuto kayo na. Okay? So, yes, thank you for listening, everyone. And again, this is writing subnotations of my second example. Okay, and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.